Welcome back to Squawk on the Street. Dow up almost 200. Financials getting another boost today. The bank's wrapping up their earnings season. UBS did report a beat. Joining us this morning to help us out with our ETF spotlight is Gerard Cassidy, head of U.S. Bank Equity Strategy over at RBC Capital Markets. Good to have you back. Good to see you. Thank you, Carl. Um, so what a reversal, uh, at least in sentiment, right? Is it all because of what the yields have done, or, or is it more to it? I, I think that has a lot to do with it, Carl. When you take a look at the 10-year government bond yield, that has a lot to do with the way the banks trade. Prior to the financial crisis, it really wasn't as linked to the 10-year, but post-financial crisis, when the 10-year fell below 3%, uh, 3%, it's very tightly correlated. Was CCAR a catalyst, or is this, does this come after, too far after that fact? No, I think people are realizing that CCAR is very important, and as you might recall, this year's CCAR, the banks didn't really react that well, even though they gave back enormous amounts of capital. Bank America, J.P. Morgan, all of the big banks gave back a ton of capital. All right. So if we're going to look at this through an ETF lens, how do you slice it? What's the most efficient way to slice What's What's leveraged most to what's going well? Yes, there's two ETFs you can look at. One is the KRE, which is a regional bank ETF, and the other is the BIX or the BKX. The BKX is the Keith Barrett large cap bank. BIX is more of a regional bank as well. But KRE is probably the best way to play the consolidation in the banking industry because that's made up of a number of smaller names. I feel like you have to be a fixed income analyst to, to, in, to be a bank analyst. You know, it's interesting. I mean, how do you know where, where the tenure is going. It was off of a, a report on the Bank of Japan yesterday, which moved global yields. Sorry, you're right. On the day-to-day -day trading, that's really a big influence. But if you look longer term, you really have to still sink into the fundamentals. But on a day-to-day -day trading basis, the, go the government bond yields have, have a great deal of influence on how the banks trade. And the fundamentals are pointing you to Bank of America? Bank of America for the large caps, bb and for the regionals. These names, I think, will continue to benefit from a strong economy. Obviously, Bank America is across the country. BB&T is down in the southeastern part of the United States. Two really good names to own. And the stocks are not that expensive. The banks trade generally at about 70 percent of the S&P, which is on just about at average. Yeah, well, Goldman Sachs has been complaining about its multiple to book, although it did not respond particularly well since earnings, unlike the aforementioned BAC or even JPM. Uh, Goldman's sort of stuck in a rut for a while, you think? I, I think with the change at the top, that certainly has some people, you know, assessing what's going on, what's going to change for Goldman Sachs. Clearly, they're going to take it in a different direction. Uh, Lori Blanfang, as you know, was a very uh, successful trader. Now they have an investment banker running Goldman Sachs. So I think that's quite significant. I, I wonder, are we ever going to go back to the days where we, we fret about trading revenue and, it, like, that is the big story? Or is that really gone into the background? Right now, it tends to be in the back burner because the rules have changed so much that these big trading houses can never get back to the way they were because of the capital that's required to trade. It's just too cost prohibitive. Right. It's been an interesting quarter so far. Uh, we'll see what comes in the next few months. Gerard, thanks. Good to see you as always. Thank you, Carl. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.